Hey everyone, and welcome back to Shady Side Library. I hope you're all having a good holiday season, whether you celebrate or not. I hope the weather's not too cold where you're at. It's, believe it or not, it's uh, 70 degrees here in Texas, so um, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a huge fan of the cold. Anyways, let's get to some Fear Street books because there's quite a bit of Christmas related Fear Street that I want to cover for you guys today so that you have something to read during this holiday season. So I'm going to start out with the obvious and that is the Silent Night Trilogy. Probably the most popular holiday Fear Street books and that's because first of all they're one of R.L. Stein's favorites, and I can say that because I had the honor of meeting R.L. Stein, and when I asked him what his favorite Fear Street book was, he said Switched, but then right after that, he was like, oh, and Silent Night. And I was like, oh, okay, so you like writing about Riva Dalby, and he like got a nice giggle out of it, because I had read Silent Night when I met him. And... I'll quickly tell you, um, so Silent Night basically follows a rich, snobby girl whose dad owns the department store, and it's all decorated out and decked out for Christmas time, and people start playing pranks on this redhead, and there's quite a body count, and uh, it's it's a pretty fun one. It's kind of a whodunit story. If you like uh, those kind of stories, then I think you'll really enjoy Silent Night. But it's perfect for the Christmas season. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't read Silent Night 2 or Silent Night 3. So I definitely need to get to those. And I might, if I have time, read them this season. I really want to. I mean, they're all super chillers. So they're a little bit longer, but again, I, I think I can make it happen. But I can see why R.L. Stein liked writing these. I mean, it's a rich, snobby redhead who gets pranks played on her during the Christmas season. So shout out to R.L. Stein for writing some wonderful Christmassy books for us, even though you don't celebrate Christmas. Fun fact, Arl Stein is Jewish, so my guess is that he celebrates Hanukkah, but the fact that he wrote some Christmassy books, thank you, that's awesome. Spread the love of all different cultures and religions. Okay, next up, I just figured this out. This is really cool. So someone just sent me this Ghost of Fear Street book. It's number 15 and it's called Fright Christmas. And I figured we're talking Fear Street, might as well throw in the Ghost of Fear Street book because it still takes place on Fear Street. I mean, it's still Fear Street. It's just ghost written, not written by Arl Stein, but also it's like middle grade. So I read the back of this book and was like, hold up. Believe it or not, this is about a bully and he's a terrible bully in shady side and he's been bullying everyone and he gets himself trapped in a closet in the Dalby department store which is Riva Dalby's dad's department store so I thought that was cool that there's a connection between these but yeah so these all take place at uh, Riva's dad's department store and all the pranks and deaths and stuff um, and this one is about a bully who gets himself trapped in the same department store, but he's a lot younger. So I thought that was really cool that there's a connection between the Silent Night books and this Fright Christmas Ghost of Fear Street book. So yeah, I would read these together if you have them. thought that was really cool. But let's move on because there's, there's a lot of Christmassy, at least holiday, wintry, Fear Street books. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite Fear Street books. I read this one and absolutely loved it. And I made a review on it two years ago. But uh, that's the New Year's Party. 
And from what I remember about it, it's about a group of friends who plays pranks on each other. And then it all kind of goes down at a Christmas party. And then it goes down again at the very end at a New Year's party. So you get a little bit of both. I think this could definitely be read before or after Christmas. I think I read it right on New Year's, which was probably the best, but I don't know. This is perfect for this time of season, and it's such a fun book. It reminds me a little bit of The Thrill Club, where it's just about a good core group of friends who get silly, and, you know, things go wrong, and people start dying, so that's always a lot of fun. So that's the New Year's party. And then here's two. Um, I haven't read these, but obviously they're Christmas related because you can tell by the covers. Well, at least this cover. And that is The Best Friend. And then there is a sequel, The Best Friend 2. And this cover doesn't really show much of a Christmassy vibe. But this one does. And I read the back of the book, and basically it's about a girl who claims she's another girl's best friend. And the main girl's like, uh, what are you talking about? I don't even know who you are. And she starts sending her gifts. And I guess they're Christmas gifts because it's around the holiday season. And so yeah, this, this one is a good read for Christmas time. So... Yeah, or just winter time, December. Um, I would grab The Best Friend if you're looking for something to read. And then if you can find a sequel, this one's expensive. These last few, I'm not sure are Christmas related, but they're definitely worth reading this time of year. And the first one is Ski Weekend. I heard this is a good slasher, and there's a pretty big body count. But I will warn you that it doesn't necessarily take place like in December. So it's at like a, it takes place at a ski resort, and I don't think it's December. But they get trapped in a ski resort where it's cold and it's wintry, and I think that's enough to pick it up during this time of year and give it a read. Next up is Truth or Dare, and this is a very similar concept. They get trapped in a ski condo, and yeah, it's cold, and it's, you know, a good time to play Truth or Dare, I guess. But again, it doesn't take place in December, but stuck in a ski condo or a ski resort where it's freezing cold and there's not much else to do besides playing Truth or Dare... I think that's a pretty good time to read it in December. So pick this up if you, you know, need something else to fill your TBR. And last but not least, I don't know anything about this one except for the fact that Santa is on the cover about to hit this cheerleader with a chair. I think it's a chair. I don't know. I think he's just about to punch her. But either way, uh, this is the fourth book in the cheerleaders trilogy i know it's a trilogy but there's actually like five cheerleaders books i don't know i just always noticed that this cover has santa on it and i don't know why but i haven't read the fierce jury or the uh, cheerleader trilogy so i can't really tell you much about this and i don't want to spoil it so i'm not reading the back but i don't know if you've read the fierce street trilogy pick this one up and tell me if it's about you know Santa. So that is all I have for you guys today as far as Fear Street. There are some point horror books that are, you know, Christmas themed and there are some, not any Christopher Pike books, that's unfortunate, but there might be some Nightmare Hall books. I don't know. There's, uh, there's other YA horror books that are Christmas themed and I don't have a lot of them, so I probably won't make a video about it. But these are all the Fear Street books that you should be reading this holiday season. Let me know which ones you're reading, which ones you liked, which ones you didn't like. And thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Merry Christmas, everyone. Peace out.